Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about pruning roses and uh, this year, uh, just before early spring, I'm going to uh, prune all the roses in my garden so that I can get a great uh, spring to summer season of blooms. In my garden, I have over 20 types of roses uh, ranging from bush, standard, patio and also climbing roses and uh, pruning each and every type of rose plant is slightly different and because of I am living in the UK so I start pruning late winter and also early spring so this would be a late January or early February as you can see here this rose is already well established so I'm going to prune very slightly and especially I'm mainly going to remove any dead wood and fungus or infected branches and suckers from the bottom of the plant. One rule that you should uh, follow when pruning is to make sure you cut the branch uh, just below the new bud or shoot and uh, uh, cut at 45 degree angle and this means any new shoots will aim to grow upwards and outwards and giving a better shape to your rose bush and and even more blooms if you look here these two branches with uh, new shoots are facing each other uh, now if we let them to grow like this and this direction it's going to get tangled and affect the quality of the bloom. The new shoots when pruning should direct as outwards as possible then only you would get nice shape like a cord view. If you look here this is a miniature rose uh, or patio rose and uh, this rose last year I bought it from the Long Acre Garden Centre and this year I'm not going to give hard pruning just I'm trimming and then I'm cutting unwanted leaves and branches and also you know any dead wood I would remove it and this rose name is called Black Bagra and I last year I bought it and this year I don't want to cut it down to the earth just I'm going to give a little trim like this and then I'm going to cut it up to this As far as uh, nutrition is concerned, for last seven years, I have used so many different styles of uh, rose fertilizer, uh, ranging from rose compost, farmyard manure, uh, host manure, liquid feed, and chicken pellet. After many years of experimenting, and uh, I would say organic chicken pellets and well rotten manure produce constantly best results. As you can see here, this is chicken pellet and before applying chicken pellet, what you need to do, just clear up uh, your border and if there is any weeds and unwanted plant, we should remove it straight away. So then only that plant will get enough energy from uh, chicken pellet. And and now what I'm going to do, just I'm removed all the uh, weeds and extra bits from um, uh, rose plants and I'm going to give little aeration, just I'm going to blow the air and uh, because like, uh, you know, uh, we, are, we are experiencing winter now and also the soil uh, shapes like a texture, like a clay. So in order to avoid the clay structure and we need to blow the air very well, 
and then you need to apply host manure or any fertilizer or chicken pellet and now I'm going to apply chicken pellet at the moment after a few weeks or uh, uh, later on I'm going to I plan to give some mulch top of it then you know then your plant will get nutrition at same time moisture Thanks for watching my video. Please do like, share, subscribe with bell button and see you soon.